Hey everyone, it's Q. Today I'd like to uh, show you Dynamic Desktop on a kiosk machine. What do I mean by kiosk machine? Well, here we have a ultralight laptop that running, sorry, that is running Windows XP, and it's been configured so it's fully locked down. And all it does when it fires up, it launches a browser in full screen, which is what we refer to as kiosk mode, and connects to the Citrix Access Gateway, where I can enter my credentials to log on to my virtual desktop. So let me attempt to do that without having to retype it. Here we go. So now, um, well, this went really fast. Um, it listed the list uh, the virtual desktops I can connect to, but then it proceeded to connect me to my Windows 7 environment that was already running. So I just reconnected to running session here. And there you have it, very quickly, Dynamic Desktop on a Kiosk SOE. Now, before I let you go today, I'd like to show you a little bit more. This is the HDX monitor tool for Zen Desktop. This is a tool that Citrix wrote to let us examine some HDX settings and performance. As you might be able to see here, there are a number of different aspects to it. There's graphics, network, audio, Windows Media, redirection, flash, redirection, USB device, uh, USB thumb drives, smart card printing, etc. What I can show you here very briefly is the network piece. What this network monitor lets you do is take a look at the network performance of the bandwidth being utilized between your virtual desktop and uh, your, uh, your end user device here. It also shows you the estimated uh, round trip latency of this network. So keep in mind I'm going over the internet here from my home office. So the latency is uh, in, in the range right now. It's reported at 16 millisecond, but uh, I believe that's slightly uh, under reporting. It's a little bit higher than that. Now I switch over to the flash redirection panel. This is a panel that tells me all about flash redirection capability of this laptop. And because it's running Windows and has the, has the flash player installed, the flash redirection is actually active. What that means is when I play a DVD quality video like I am here, which is streamed from the internet, the video is uh, redirected to the local laptop here to the local flash player and making use of the graphics card that's in this laptop to render this video in uh, what I would qualify as beautiful uh, quality. This is the same as if it was running uh, locally in, on a normal desktop. Uh, it's really, really unable to tell the difference. Uh, since YouTube is also flash based, you can also get your YouTube videos to be rendered as if they were uh, really rendered locally. So let me see if I can uh, get to my YouTube channel and demonstrate that. This is a video I shot on the weekend at the lake, not too far from here. And uh, I've been using a high def camera to shoot this. And uh, as you can see, it gives you a great uh, YouTube video experience. So there you have it. Virtual desktop, dynamic desktop on a Windows PC configured as a kiosk. Thank you.